Welcome back everyone to another episode of cpp4beginners.com tutorials. This is number 34 and we're talking a bit more about strings in Back to the Basics Numero Tray. So last time you saw me using string cat, um, which is actually this. And the reason why it didn't work last time is uh, because I had confused it with the syntax of string copy. In string copy, your destination goes first, followed by what you want to put into it. In string concatenation, you actually put the string that you want added to first, and then what you want to add to it. So I suppose it's really the same, but I kind of had it backwards. Um, so in this case, if we simply see out what we have here, it'll run, and I am Damien of Reddit. And so that is how we properly use string concatenation. Now, what I want to show you guys is the string length uh, parameter here, and this is extremely useful um, because when we get into string stream, you guys will see a bit more about why, but Sterlin is actually going to allow us to determine how long a string is. So we're going to take the Sterlin of uh, ch array and we're going to make it equal to uh, int size 1 is equal to that. And then we're going to say int size 2 is equal to sterlin of ch array 2. So now we'll just say uh, your name is whatever is in ch array because we use the concatenation function here. And then we'll also go on to say, um, we'll put it on a new line, which is size one plus size two, letters in length. And again, if you put a space in, it's going to screw with the CNs we have up here. Uh, if you're going to use spaces in your name, please use cn.getLine. So again, we're going to uh, try this out. Ooh, actually, logic error. I need to put these back before I concatenate. So we'll compile that once again. And my name is Damien of Reddit. So in that case, it's 14 letters in length, 6, 7, 8, 14. So there you have it. That is how we properly use stircat, stirlen, and stircopy. All three of those are extremely useful um, and there are a variety of reasons why, we'll, why we will be using them. Uh, a good example is something along these lines. We're going to... You know what? I'm just going to multi-line copy way more once again. And we're just going to get rid of all of this. And we're going to sort of single line copy all that out. Uh, you guys, I'm just leaving all this in here so you guys can play around with it later. And I'm going to comment all that out as well. And then I'm going to come down here, some 40 some odd lines in, create a new car, and we'll call it a file name. We'll make that uh, 80 characters in length, although I think that the max is 256, so let's do that. And then we're going to make one, say, uh, care file dir. 
and we'll call that uh, 256 as well. So this actually might not work too well because we're using Sigwin to compile it. I'm not sure if it's going to be a tremendous help for that, but it might if we're friendly to it. So uh, I'm not going to get into the system command yet. Uh, mostly because of the amount of time that we have left. But we'll say that we have a program that asks us something like this. Enter the file name that you want to use. And so we're going to have something like that. And let's just say cn dot... No, we should be able to use a cn for a file name, no spaces. Um, so we'll do file name. And then we're going to say care file is going to be 512. Be careful with these names because I'm sure that file name, file dir, and file are used in a million different libraries. I just know that they're not in this case, but never name files that way. Um, so then we'll say something like cout uh, backslash n, enter the files directory cn file dirt and then what we would do is and I left out an e so then what we would do is something like this with string copy we would do string copy uh, into file well actually let's do this first we would do stir cct um, And then we do file name, comma, file dir. Again, this is another bad idea since they have the same maximum size, so don't do that. And it's not. I always do that. CCT. It should be, but apparently it's not. So what we would do there is something like that. We I'm sorry, we would actually do something like this. File dir is getting file name added on to it. And then all of that is going to go into file. So we're going to say stir cpy file file dir. And then we'll just say C out file dir. Or just file. I'm sorry. Whew. It's been a rough day for me. Uh, and that's actually going to print out on the same line. So let's just say something like C colon backslash Windows backslash system 32. Uh, oop, that's not a good file name. Let's just call it sys.txt. And then the file directory is just going to be c colon backslash windows. So in that case, we would actually need to add on another sort of backslash there. But you guys get this basic idea of what I'm trying to say here. Um, there will be times when we're going to deal with file creation I'm not sure if we're actually going to go that far, but there will be times when, if you do this as a profession, you will need to do file creation. Um, and it's going to be important that you sort of have a good understanding of how to deal with data. That's all this really is, is just dealing with data that users input. So, um, once again, I'm going to try to wrap this one up quicker than I have been. I am Damien. Thank you for watching.